I'm David Berlin with ZDNet. I'm coming to you from the Jacob Javits Center on the west side of New York City where digital life is taking place. And one of the products that's on display here is Toshiba's newest Portage. And what makes this kind of special is that it's super light. It's an ultra-portable notebook. And what you don't often see in ultra-portables is a CD-ROM drive right in the notebook. Usually it's in the docking station. So here to tell me a little bit about what makes this notebook special in addition to the CD-ROM drive is Paul Tear. He is the group product marketing manager with Toshiba. Tell me about this brand new Portage. Yeah, David, we just launched this product beginning of the month, and that's one of the notebooks that's the lightest in the world. Uh, it also has multiple features for the mobile user who is really on the go that wants to be always connected and always on. When you say it's one uh, of the lightest in the world, how light is it? Less than 1.7 pounds for the, in, the, in, the, in the pound segment. If less than 1.7 pounds. Right. I mean, I remember when notebook computers was great. If you got them under 3 pounds, now you're under 2. Wow, this right. is terrific. All right. right. And not only, not only it's under 2 pounds, but it, it, the, the cool aspect of it is it has all the bells and whistles or the features that a mobile road warrior would want to have. For example? Uh, for example, one of the cool features, you have an indoor-outdoor uh, button that you could just, by click of a uh, button, you could see that the screen is still... Uh, be, being able to be displayed as well as uh, uh, going so as an, to an indoor uh, status. Changes or, the brightness of the display so that, right. you know, you, in sunlight you need one kind of, uh, you know, right. display mode and in right. indoors you need another one. Okay. So it's a backlit LED. It's also the first uh, in the market. Backlit LED trans reflective indoor-outdoor display. Uh, it's the first in the world as a 12-1 inch wide display. The other cool feature that you also mentioned, touched on, is basically the ODD, which is a 7 millimeter ODD drive or optical disc drive. And that's one of the lightest and thinnest uh, optical disc drive in the industry. Okay, so what kind of processors uh, in it? We have an ultra low voltage CPU, which is the U7600 Intel, uh, Intel CPU. It's 1.2 gigahertz uh, processor. It goes up to uh, 2 or 3 gigabyte, depending on configuration in memory. The beauty also of this model is that it has an SSD capability. SSD stands for uh, Static Storage Drive. Yeah, it's not a hard drive. There's no moving parts, right? Correct. We're just talking about memory. Correct. And one of the big advantages of SSD is that it takes a lot less power because it doesn't have to spin up the drives. Correct. Also a little bit faster, too. Correct. Faster on boot up, faster on access Much times. faster. It gives uh -huh. you a much, mass, a much faster performance when, it, when you're running an OS like uh, Windows XP or, or Vista in, in that case. And how big does the SSD go up to on this device? The, uh, the, the capacity that we're loading on this machine is a 64 gigabyte okay. uh, SSD. So one question a lot of ZDNet audience members are going to have is, how much for this with an SSD drive in it? Right, so the, the starting price of this model is at $2,000 or 1999 uh, With an SSD, it goes up to $2,300 or 2399 or uh, $2,400. Okay, so, well, Paul Terre with Toshiba. Great looking little notebook here. Certainly would lighten the load in my bag. Maybe one day I'll get one for right. myself. Now one question a lot of road warriors are going to have when they get a sub notebook is how long is the battery going to last because usually they have smaller batteries. According to Terry, it's got a six cell lithium ion battery and the goal is for it to last all day. For ZDNet on the west side of New York City at the Digital Life Convention, I'm David Berlin.